Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fun game on Scratch. Where basically you have one car and you try to dodge out all these other cars without crashing into them. The fun thing about this project is the how we create the sensation of motion in the trees and the cars. So let's get started. Click the create button. And the first thing we're going to deal with is the background. So once you get in, you can go ahead and delete the cat and click on this right here, backdrops. And you'll have this white screen and you have to, we have to make the road. The road is basically going to be two lines, two diagonal lines. And then at the very bottom, the corner has to be in, it has to be in the exact corner. So we can actually, so it's the same, we can actually copy and paste, and then just flip it. And then zoom in to make sure it's exactly how you wanted it. It has to be around the same line, but then again, it has to be the same over in the corner. Okay, so once you get that, then we're going to actually make another line, but it's actually going to be the color of the sky that you want. So click on here, the outline, and get the exact blue you want for your sky because this line is going to be here in the middle, and we're going to make the sky above it so it doesn't look like there's this uh, black line in the middle of the screen. You can put position it anywhere, and then we can go ahead and move it so it's perfectly in the middle make sure it's touching both of these if it's not then move them too and then that should be good and then we can convert it to bitmap and get the fill and we can pick out the that blue that you used for the line so we can fill in the sky get it click up here and that's going to be your sky now these two sides can be green like grass so let's go pick our green that's good green and then the road will be something like a gray so let's get a gray um okay That should be good. And now let's go coding, but don't code in the backdrops. The next thing we have to do is get our first sprite. So let's get the first sprite. The first sprite is going to be basically a tree. So we can make two trees on each side of the road. So we can go ahead and get tree one, I guess. And at the beginning, we're going to want it to go here and then to give us the sense of motion we want it to as it gets closer closer to us to change its size make it bigger and also move in a diagonal line so first when green flag clicked then we don't want it to move on forever because we wanted to stop over here so we actually need a repeat not a forever so repeat let's say 50 times and in that repeat, we're basically going to change the size. And then we're also going to change its Y and its X because it's going in a diagonal line. So change size by, let's try 3. And then at the beginning, before, in this, re before this repeat, we have to set its size to something. And we can go ahead and set the size to 1. So let's try it. And the size is growing, but now we need to also change the X and the Y. So change change Y by and change X by. And then we need to change those by something minus for both of them because they're both, we're going that way with the X and down with the Y. So let's try minus 10 and minus 10. And that it's first of all at the beginning it has to get positioned up here so we're gonna have 
a go to and right here so let's say minus 30 with 0 that's around there and you can see it starts around there but the x changes too little so the x can change by minus 20 let's try that and that pretty much works maybe a bit less or maybe actually we can change the size more so we can change the size by 5 and that's still too little let's try setting the size at the beginning to 3 and the tree here we want it to actually get very big so that's still too small let's try 7 at the beginning <laughs> let's try change size by 7 and that should be okay but it's going kind of too fast so we can change that by making the change y by less so like minus one and then the x by minus two because it still needs to be a bit bigger and then we also have to change the size or else this will happen it'll just keep growing because it's growing way too much and it's moving way too little so let's change size by one let's try and that's pretty good now it stops in the middle so we can repeat this more times let's try 80 and it's going the it's going slower as it comes towards us and in real life that's not how it is in real life the closer it gets the faster it goes so this is basically the opposite so to do that we're basically going to get a variable and we're going to name it something like acceleration And then make sure it's, oh, I misspelled. So, acceleration. And make sure it's for this sprite only because each object coming towards us will need to have its own acceleration. So, enter. And now at the beginning we have to set acceleration to let's say a very small number so i don't know 0 0.1 and then here we have to change the acceleration because every time it's coming towards us it's gonna need to go faster so the acceleration can change by something let's try one for now and then the y has to change by acceleration and the x has to change by acceleration let's try that and it's going up because this needs to be minus one and let's try it and there you go it's going faster as it gets closer but the size can also be changed by acceleration and we can also see so now it is very small because it's not just going to be acceleration for either of these it's going to be something times acceleration so we will need three times blocks so go to operators and this is the times block and we will need something times acceleration for the size the y and the x so we can start with the size and let's try one times acceleration then we will need something for y so another one block and then acceleration something times acceleration and that something will be this exact number right here that was before minus one so change y by minus one times acceleration and then same for the x so minus two and let's test it and it's going up because this right here is not supposed to be minus one it's supposed to be one actually so let's test it and you can see it's working but it's going a bit on the road so we have to change the x by a bit more so minus 2.2 .2. let's try and you can see it's still a very bit on the road so let's try 3 0 0.3 so 2.3 and that's pretty good but now you can see down here when it reaches this it just goes on the side of the screen so we need to repeat it less times let's try 30 
and it's still a bit too much. Let's try 20, maybe. You can test it, and it stops perfectly, but it needs to hide when it gets there. So, the hide, get the hide. And at the beginning, it needs to show, because it's going to start off hidden. So, we can put the show right there. And now, we need more than one tree to come at the same time. So, we're going to be using clones. So, basically, all this code is going to go when I start as a clone, and then this forever, there's going to be a forever, and inside of that forever, we're just going to create clones, and then wait a couple of seconds. We can do a random. So, wait a random. Pick random. Let's try 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 seconds. And we can go ahead and test it. And you can see more than one tree is coming. And they're coming at random times. It's perfect, but here it stays too much on the side of the screen. So let's try something like repeat 15 times. You can run it. And it's perfect, except... Now, it would be really cool if we could change the size by, let's try 2, so then it's really big. But now, we also have to change the X by a bit more, because it's on the road now. So, we can change it to minus 3.0, let's try. So, just 3, that's still a bit on the road. Let's try 0.2, 3.2. That's barely touching the road by a bit, so let's try 3.3. And let's run it and it's still touching the road a bit so 3.4 maybe should do it that's okay it's not touching the uh, the street so let's just do one last step for this tree we can get another tree costume and just r randomly pick the costume that it's gonna be so when I search tree, there's tree A, tree B. Let's try tree A and then let it load a bit. Stop this and then here it is. And now we have to go code to switch costume to a uh, pick random. So right before it creates the clone, switch costume to pick random one to two because there are only two options. So let's do that. And as you can see, it's pretty much perfect here. Now we also have to get trees for the other side. So we can basically right click on this sprite and then just press duplicate, duplicate. And then we can go ahead and change the thing so it goes on the other side. First of all, it doesn't have to start at x negative 30. It just has to start at x 30. And then it has to change its x by 3.4, not minus 3.4. So let's try that, and there you go. It pretty much works. Now we also have to get some lines for the road. So we can basically just go ahead and duplicate the tree, and then we go to costumes, delete the two trees that were there before, and we will need four lines, two diagonal, one to connect them on the top, one to connect them on the bottom. So let's go ahead and make them. Like that. Then you can go ahead, select it, copy it, paste it, flip it horizontally, and then you can zoom in to make sure it's on the right, it's on the same level. Then you can go back to the line and and connect them on the bottom and on the top then you can select it it's one whole piece now so you can select it and you can position it in the center so it's centered then you can go and then you can fill it in actually so you can fill it in with a yellow like it is on the street like this bright yellow so get that yellow And make sure your convert to bitmap 
fill it in with yellow mixture and fill fill it in and now you can go back to code now the first thing we're going to do is make sure it goes right down the middle so it's actually going to start at 0 0 right the center of right at the center of the screen and then it doesn't need to change its x at all it just comes directly down so you can take this block and kick it out of here and let's try it and you can see it goes right down but it's changing the size by too much so it needs to change its size by let's try one and then it needs to not wait here pick random it needs to always come just at one second time maybe one second is a bit too much let's try 0 0.7 it's still too much so let's try something more like 0 0.3 very and you can see that's pretty good but it disappears too quickly so we can repeat this more times let's try 25 and you can see it's still t it's doing good but the size is changing too much it's growing too much so let's try 0 0.6 or something and we can see that it works pretty well but don't forget at the very end to delete the clone because the max number of clones is 301 so you have to delete the clone so then you can make more clones you can go ahead and do that for the tree two for both trees okay and now we can go ahead and do with the cards so let me just go ahead and upload my sprite and here i already have them from before the video so i'm just going to go ahead and get the car and there it is and that is way too big so we can go ahead and change it to let's try 30 and it's gonna just walk around here so, uh, we'll drive around on this lane and on that lane so it has to fit in that position let's try even bigger uh, 35 okay that should be good now we have to get the when green flag clicked and then forever basically have to move around with the left arrow and the right arrow so forever if right key pressed key right arrow if right arrow pressed then change x by 10 duplicate that and change here it's the left arrow now and it's by minus 10 change x by minus 10 run it and you can see it works now there is just this one thing that's not good that you can keep going until the car can't even be seen anymore because it's already it's on the very edge of the screen so we should make it not be able to do that for that we're just going to put an if inside of the if and this if will basically say if the x position is smaller than a number which is going to be like around this x position all the way over here a p x position that's going to be somewhere around here so it's the edge of the road if that equals then barely then it can change its x by 10 this is the right arrow so if x position is smaller than less than and it should this should be okay maybe around here let's say 130 so if it's smaller than 130 then barely then it can move so it can't go any further than that now we can go ahead and do the same with the left arrow so if and inside this if it'll basically say minus 130 so if x position is greater than minus 130 then barely then it can change its x by negative 10. so you can see there you go it works it won't go any further than that and it won't go any further than that for the final step for this car we're basically at the beginning we're just going to basically do a go to that will all that will always make the car start right here 
So you can get the go to 80 and minus 130. And you can test it and you can see that is pretty good position to start in. And then you can move it around, can't go further than the edges. Now it's time for the next car, which is going to be the car that's coming towards you. So for that, I'm going to upload a sprite again. Um, I already have it from before the project, so that's how come I can just upload it. Here it is. And first, we're going to basically just make it smaller. So let's make it around 35 like the other one. But it's actually going to change its size as it gets closer because it's coming towards us. So we're just going to copy the code from here and put it into this car right there. So you can go ahead and do that. There we go. Oops. And now we can just change some things here. So first of all, the original car is hidden. Second of all, this right here, we need a random. So you can do that right now from one to three from one to five seconds this car will come and it's changing its size by too much so let's try 0 0.3 that should be pretty good and then it also needs to change its x by a bit so we need to get the change x by And then we can just go ahead and duplicate that, put that back in. And so the X will be changing by minus one. So that should be pretty good, except it's going to start at negative 30. So you can go ahead and test it. And you can see it goes a bit too much on the grass. So minus one is maybe a bit too less, maybe minus 0 0.5. Let's try that. And that's not exactly good. It should start around, let's say, minus 15. And that's actually better. Maybe it should start, start at a smaller size, like 5. And it needs to go a bit more this way, so minus 10. That is pretty good, but the only problem is that you don't, if you stay here and then a car comes, you don't really have time to react and get out of the way. So we can change these around to make time to get out of the way. So we can change the size by 0 0.1, let's say, and then the Y by, so everything is basically going to be half its original um, value. Let's try it, and now we can get out of the way, but the car is way too small. So at the beginning, we can set it back to 7, I guess. Maybe even more. 10? Alright guys, that's the end of part 1 of this game. I'll see you next time for part 2.